Next up, David Charles Allen, Village Properties Realtor and host of The Hop. That's Home Ownership Podcast. Welcome to The Hop. This is David Charles Allen, Realtor at Village Properties in Santa Barbara, California. My great friend and co-host, Patty Teal. I'm doing wonderful today, Patty. How are you doing? I'm doing great as well. Thanks. That's amazing. So beautiful weather here again in Santa Barbara. Looking ahead, some warmer days in the mid 70s, high 70s, even into the low 80s. So sunny skies, a little bit of a warm weather for what we're used to, but it's definitely beautiful out. Oh, it sounds beautiful. And then in terms of surf too, we had a fun little swell these last couple of days, a little wind swell. Looking ahead, don't see too much on the horizon, but you never really know. Maybe there'll be some fun days out there. Yeah, sunny skies and surf swell. What could be better? Right. And and then jumping into interest rates, we we're at 4.5% for 30-year jumbo and 4.875 for 30-year conforming. So not much movement since the last time we were on. Well, I guess they say no news is good news. No news is good news, and that's just <laughs> dropping. So yeah. Right. So, exactly. Then in terms of how statistics have performed for the housing market, 45 new listings, 13 price changes. 32 that closed, 36 that pending, two expired, and nine that were coming soon. So how do you analyze the week, David? We're getting a good amount of listings, so to say. 45, it's not a lot, but it's a solid amount. We'd probably want to be closer in the 60 or plus range, especially for this time of year. 36 pending, so that's good. We're getting more new listings than there are pending, even though some were closed off market. So we're seeing still a lot of activity in terms of multiple offers for homes that are done and homes getting overbid. But it does seem to be a little bit slower for the majority of houses that maybe weren't so so easy in the first place. Mm -hmm. Um, The ones that are still really well done, really well put together that would sell quickly in a normal market, they're still going overbid and everything like that. But some of the other homes, you're not seeing quite the frenzy as we saw in the last year or so. And would that be in all price categories? I think so. I think you're seeing maybe some of the fixer homes that are in the really nice neighborhoods. They aren't getting quite the cost benefit of something that's well done. They're really seeing the demand for that. But yeah, it seems to be stretched in all price ranges. Haven't seen any really huge sales take part recently. So I'm not sure if that part of the market's slowing down a little bit as well. Although it's kind of early, that's returning more to a typical market that people are used to, would you say? I wouldn't say it's turning that far to a typical market because in a typical market, we wouldn't have such crazy prices in the first place. So we're still at a really high price range for any level home. Mm -hmm. And that just makes everything a little more different in terms of being a typical market. It really affects who can purchase a home. So it's still dependent on people moving maybe from out of the city and from all these other big cities. In general, Santa Barbara doesn't have a lot of really wealthy income opportunities, so to say, like unless you're a business owner, there's not a lot of big companies here that we do have Deckers, Raytheon. And there's a lot of companies that have been here for a while, but it's not like we have a huge amount like Silicon Valley with just a bunch right. of companies. Mm-hmm. So really dependent with this price level is for people that are realized these kind of prices before. Right. That makes perfect sense. And then any question for the day? Yes, David. I was wondering, we've talked about the pricing on houses. We haven't really gotten into the pricing on land. And I wondered how that's doing. And I know there probably isn't very much land available, but what is available? How is the pricing? And what are the special issues that people buying land to build might face due to supply chain? So land, definitely unique in Santa Barbara. We get several land sales per year, but in general, you're not looking at a lot of land sales because there really isn't too many undeveloped lots. But in terms of like a land sale in Santa Barbara, it's more treated as a fixer home. So a home that's already on there, you're basically buying the land because you're going to tear down the home. That's basically our land sales. I know in the last year or so, it was really tough to even get a contractor to get supplies. I know if you're getting new like specialty appliances, it's like a six month wait limit or it was. So that definitely has an effect if you're building from the ground up, a process that could take a year or two, could take three plus. I think the most difficult thing in Santa Barbara for building on an empty lot is always going to be permitting. 
So if you have something that's already gone through the permitting process and that's green stamped, ready to build tomorrow, that's great. That definitely adds way more value. But to go through that process, that may take you a year, maybe a year and a half, and then construction another year. It's really timely in Santa Barbara building anything just because they have a very diligent process that you have to go through. So that just helps if you have a good contractor and a good architect as well. Right. So it takes a very special buyer. It takes a special buyer and someone that has time and someone that has money and that's kind of been through what it takes before, because it could be definitely a challenging experience if it's your first time. I know. I have friends who have built homes and sometimes they turned out just beautifully. They almost always did, but they typically took longer than they thought, like twice as long. Yeah, I would say take twice as long and two or three times what you think it's going to cost you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Keep that in mind. That's for Santa Barbara. I'm sure it's a lot different other places where it's a quicker process and more labor that is able to do it or do it yourself or anything like that. I am, though, thinking that the supply chain problems may be across the country because I know someone who's putting in a bathroom and it's taken so long they couldn't get this or they couldn't get that. So I think it may be pretty common to have those kinds of issues. But yeah, if you need a specific part or appliance, you definitely can be waiting around for quite some time. Right. So David, how are the fur babies? Last week, you talked about Moose got stung by a bee and he got a little lethargic. So you had to get him an EpiPen. Is everybody doing well this week? Everyone's doing really well. He's back to being himself. Yeah, everyone's doing great. Bailey's loving life. Moose is loving life. Everyone's doing amazing here. Oh, I'd love to see you guys walking those dogs and cat. You must look like the whisperer, the dog whisperer. Right, yeah. <laughs> if only they listen all the time, but they're usually pretty good. Oh, I'm sure they're adorable. Well, thank you so much, David, for keeping us abreast on the real estate market in Santa Barbara. And I look forward to talking to you again next week. Oh, let's not leave without giving your contact information. Yeah, my number is 805-617-9311. And my email is david at davidcharlesallen.com. Thanks, David. Have a great week. All right, Patty, you too. Let's give it a go next week. All right. Bye-bye.